Eh, antes que nada, felicitarte por la victoria, por seguir manteniendo el título. Y una duda que tengo en una pelea como la de hoy es eh, cómo te influye, te influye en algún momento de la pelea eh, la reacción del público. Sí, sí claro. Es, um, pero sabes, tú tienes que estar muy frío porque en la pelea es, um, tu contrincante tiene un plan. Por ejemplo, um, mi contrincante tenía un plan. Y si yo um, seguía uh, solo emociones, yo podría caer en una buena, mala situación para mí. Entonces, es, uh, más, uh, es tiene que ser más profundo, porque el MMA es uh, un tipo de pelea cuando solamente un error, un segundo, un segundo se puede definir todo el resultado de la pelea. Entonces, o tú estás con cinturón o tú eres uh, so ya sin cinturón. <laughs> Entonces, uh, yo sabía exactamente qué quería hacer mi contrincante. Y yo no quería uh, ponerme en su juego. Yo quería que ella pueda con mi entrenamiento. Uh, ella trató de atacarme a los pies. Ella trató de llevarme al piso. Pero uh, yo no le di esta oportunidad. Solamente a uh, Javier uh, la pelea para I mi lado uh, tenía un knockdown de big fist, uh, diferentes side. patadas. Entonces, uh, ella me, es como but, um, um, peleadora de tipo de peleadores. Uh, es cuando solamente tú relajas un poquito y eh, usa esta uh, este situación contra ti. Llévala al piso y trata de hacer su juego. Moment, Entonces, then, yo tenía que estar uh, durante toda la pelea muy so, atenta para esto. Uh, y solamente uh, fight, ella seguía. I had to be paying close attention to that and to follow my own games. ¿Qué tal, Valentina? Bueno, felicitaciones. Hello, Valentina. Eh, Congratulations again. Ah, eh, te quería preguntar, eh, creo que de, de las mujeres en UFC, eh, obviamente quitando a, a las brasileras, ¿no? que son muy populares, que convertiste, me parece, en el ícono eh, femenino en Latinoamérica, Argentina, Chile, Perú, bueno, Perú, ¿no? Obviamente. Eh, te adoramos. Eh, así que, eh, nada, contame un poco qué se siente eso y, y qué esperás en el futuro de, bueno, obviamente seguir defendiendo el título, pero eh, qué le decís a todos tus fanáticos en Latinoamérica que está creciendo a pasos agigantados en UFC, ¿no? Por lo primero me alegra mucho, me alegra mucho que no solamente uh, los hombres están haciendo a las mujeres también. No todos se convierten a unos uh, peleadores profesionales, pero cada uno hace por su propia motivación. Solo me alegra mucho que más y más chicas se empiezan a hacer artes marciales. Y de verdad, Are learning um, martial uh, arts. Uh, And aquí en Latinoamérica, when I came here to Latin siguen, America, y, uh, I, I see that here yeah, they, they are giving me a great support. And I'm very happy in my in, uh, the social media. Eh, bueno, yo soy de Argentina, pero mi papá es peruano y viajo bastante seguido a Perú. Eh, y en Perú, eh, bueno, estos últimos años ha crecido muchísimo el deporte. Eh, de hecho, bueno, en esta misma competencia del día de hoy en Uruguay, fueron tres los peruanos que... que o sea, dos peruanos y, y vos. Eh, contame un poco cómo ves eh, el, el, las MMA en, en Perú, que, que, bueno, que vos venís de ahí, que vas seguido. Son buenos, no solamente así cuando reciben un extranjero, sí, 
importa solamente queremos ver a nuestro mediador que adora. No, es de verdad que cuando uno va a un lugar para encontrar la pelea, el arte de la pelea, y esto uh, yo valoro más que los demás. La última. Bueno, eh, de, hablaste de Amanda Nunes, ¿no? Eh, creo que después de las dos terribles peleas que tuviste, la segunda la ganaste. Eh, contame, te, ¿te gustaría una tercera, no? Yo creo que ya tenemos... Nuestro asunto entre Amanda ya salió mucho más de que yo quiero o ella quiere. Ya es más allá. Solamente va a suceder. Va a suceder no sé cuándo. No sé cuándo, si es un futuro cercano o lejano, pero sí vamos a ver una tercera pelea. Y cuando ella lo hace, yo voy a estar listo. Muchas gracias, Valentina. Valentina. I congrats on the win. We're going to do, Valentina. maybe I'm going to ask the same questions uh, a few because we're going to do in English. So first of all, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, how, what are your thoughts on the fights overall? Were you happy with her performance? Uh, my opinion, uh, first of all, yes, of course, I'm happy with uh, victory. I'm very happy to have the belt here, you know, somewhere else. It's number one. And uh, yes, my opponent, she has her strategy for the fight. She wanted to put me under her game. And my role, it was not be ca uh, catched by her game and put my game on top of her. Uh, she wanted to put me down. I defend her leg shoot, shoot into the leg. And I put, the, I put her leg backwards. I was dominated in the controlling the fight. I took, I make back fist uh, very good, very strong. And I felt it was some kind of knockdown. The heat is uh, other one. So, you know, the type of the, um, technical side of the fighter is she, she is like uh, using your errors against you. And she was waiting for the moment. And my goal, not giving not one moment to her and put my game on top of her. This is what I was doing. She was here earlier and she said that uh, she expected you to be more aggressive against her. And that's why the, the, the fight wasn't as exciting as everyone was hoping for. What are your thoughts on, on those comments from her? I think that um, now it really, really doesn't matter too much what she's saying. If she wanted to be aggressive to show the good fight for the, uh, the old fans, she could be more aggressive. But she was not. She was trying to, um, you know, I saw in her previous fight when she was um, waiting for her opponents when they start, started to lose their minds and go with like crazy attacking. At this moment, she's like catching them and puts them, them down. But in my moment, I knew it. I knew exactly that she has very good, strong game, like wrestling game. And I just uh, knew that I am stronger than her. And I have to do my game for her. That's why I was ready for her. I was not like expecting something that it was, it, it was not anything that took me by surprise. I just was uh, like cold doing my job. Are you, the, if you check online, people are very critical of the, of the fight. Does that bother you? Uh, or you just went there to do what exactly what you were, you were planning to do and not, not, not pay too much attention to, to what maybe people are talking about online? Yeah, uh, online fans and media are talking about that this, the, the, the fight wasn't as exciting as they were hoping for. Did that bother you? Or, I mean, you went there, just got the job done, that's what matters. I know, because uh, they still have fresh memory about the knockout <laughs> two months ago. Yes. They wanted to see the knockout. But uh, as I said uh, in the, uh, inside the octagon, it's... Um, Sometimes you do knock out, sometimes you don't. It's uh, not the way to be like upset or whatever. I think if um, uh, all fans, people, they will start to watch uh, more carefully the fight, they would see a very beautiful technique and timing and speed. And this is all about martial arts, not only about like uh, crazy exchanges and uh, you can be hit uh, or you can win or you can lose. It's much more, it's much more, because as I say, 
or you have belt or you don't. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot on, on, the, on, on the line in the fights and does, does it bother you mid fights during, during the fight that you, when, you, when you hear fans start booing you? Does it bother you? Um, you know, it's affecting. It's affecting, but uh, at the same time, uh, you cannot listen too much because you know, uh, fighting with opponent, for example, is Liz. If you just go with a lot of emotion, she will catch you and put you down. You cannot, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. it just you cannot. You have to be very smart fighter. You have to be um, analyzing very good. Of course, it's, it's affecting, but at the same time, you just, uh, what's gonna be better? To make fan, all fans feel good and lose your belt? Is it better? <laughs> That, that was actually where my next question, because they think that um, there's this idea of being fan-friendly and putting on the exciting fights, but at the same time, I think my, people might not realize how much really is on the line for you, right? How much a difference a win makes, because like you said, it's the belt. So um, what is it that I think, if you could put it in words for those people who might just be upset that they didn't get the exciting fight that they want, what was it really on the line for you tonight? You know, it's every time going to be someone yes and someone no, yeah? And um, every fighter, they have fans and they have uh, people who don't like them. Yes, it's, um, it's a world. It's like, uh, it's everything works that, uh, like this. Someone like it, someone don't like it. But uh, it's what it's uh, amazing about MMA is that everyone can find their favorite fighters or whatever. I show in my fight every time, like, speed, precision, and accuracy a lot. And if you could see, for example, in my uh, wrestling game, when I was to put in her down, and uh, like uh, very uh, some jumping uh, jumping hits, spinning. So I did a lot of techniques. Uh, and people who are really appreciating martial arts, they everyone they will say that it was very good fight. Um, we are always and we talked a little bit about this before the fight because people are always like sort of anticipating your next move, right? And like you said, uh, and you talked about the Amanda Nunes fight and how it seems inevitable inevitable at this point. Uh, but you did talk about wanting to to sort of grow flyweight and to sort of help flyweight and you mentioned that you think that the future really is uh, a female fighting in, in the UFC at flyweight. Um, now do you see a contender or anyone really because you've been so dominant that I think a lot of people are just like who can Valentino fight next? Do you have anybody in mind? It's going to be every time someone who is next in the line. For example, we have a lot of girls um, in top of the ranking. So Liz, she was number three. And I think there is Caitlin Chakogian and uh, I think Jennifer Maya, she's still there like uh, in the top. So it's going to be uh, a, lot of, a lot of options for me to choose. <laughs> It's, it's interesting because obviously you and Liz fought before, but nobody saw it because there's no footage online. So most of us have no idea how that fight went. We just know that it ended on a second round TKO. How much different was that fight nine years ago from the one that we got tonight? Uh, it was accidental thing in the first fight. It was eyebrow cut. It was just a cut and the doctors, they stopped the fight. I was feeling that uh, I dominated the fight. I took her down and, um, but just one thing, just one thing and it's like changing the result of the yeah. fight. But of course I knew that uh, today, tonight, it was uh, something more. <laughs> and yeah. I just cannot let uh, the fight um, be like against me. And you mentioned that uh, when I asked if there were any lessons that you could take from that fight, because it was so long ago, you guys were entirely different fighters. And you said, oh, well, if it, there's anything that I can take is that anything can happen because you got that cut. Did that play into how you fight tonight? Like that, was that in the back of your mind? Like, wow, one little mistake can change everything. And, and, and did that transport into the fight tonight? It's not only about the fights that we had 10 years yeah. ago, it's more about MMA. Okay. Because in MMA, everything can happen. And you know, my every time my goal is 
you cannot be successful, you cannot feel that, okay, this is my fight, I'm gonna do whatever, whatever before the fight really ends. Because uh, it's MMA, just one hit, one second, and it can be totally different result. You never want the different results, that's why I'm working very hard, and I just very concentrated on uh, perfection of my fight. And let's speak for me. Um, you have been an extremely active fighter. Even I think I think you never pulled out of a fight in the UFC. Only people pulled out of fights with you, right? Um, and you fought just two months ago. Moving forward, do you want to stay this active? Um, looks like yes. <laughs> I cannot say, like, you know, even for this fight, I didn't plan it to have so soon, two months after the, my previous fight. I didn't plan it, just UFC uh, called me, they made this offer, and I just accepted. So, I don't know what's gonna happen next week. Let's see, let's see. It. <laughs> Valentina, felicitaciones por tu pelea. Eh, El UFC está interesado en hacer eh, super luchas, ¿no? Si la, con Amanda ya está, es, es por ahora, es, eh, es a largo plazo. Eh, se habla de que si Jessica Andrade vence con éxito su título en agosto, ella quería pelear contigo, digamos, aceptarías pelear en noviembre en Sao Paulo, que es donde ella mencionó que quería pelear. O crees que podría ser en diciembre en Las Vegas, que es donde tú vives. No sé todavía. Vamos a ver cómo va a pasar su pelea. Sí, porque también tiene un fuerte contrincante en China. Sí, vamos a ver cómo el resultado de la pelea. Y de ahí yo tengo todavía más tiempo para decidir dónde ir. Y tengo más tiempo para pelear. Gracias. Valentina, creo que la última. Eh, te escuché hablar muy bien de Uruguay antes de la pelea. Después de esta experiencia que has tenido aquí, de todos estos días y después de haber peleado, ¿qué te llevas de nuestro país aparte del cinturón? Solo, tengo solo I only uh, have good memories Uruguay and emotions of Uruguay trató, because really uh, me the country la treated me very well. Buenas. The people are so dije, good. Antes, and as I pelea, said, que, after si the fight, I'd like to come back to Uruguay tiempo, with more time. No para la pelea, Maybe not for a fight. Para Maybe para just país, to know the country, si to know the customs. Llevo de Uruguay and una something that I'm taking para el from mate. Uruguay <laughs> is con mate, a knapsack con todo, así, for the mate, especial, así bonito, with the mate, cuero, very nice, ¿Pero sabes tomar mate? leather. Claro. Do you know how ah, to bueno, drink bueno, mate? Of course esto. I do, of course. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gracias.